Somewhere in Kenya, innovation took a wrong turn, collided with delusion, and was left bleeding on the runway that never existed. Enter a man with the audacity, or maybe insanity, to believe he could build the next Top Gun jet fighter using the mechanical heart of a motorbike, the body parts of a plastic stool, and the swag of someone who watched Iron Man once and thought, yep, that looks easy. He proudly named it the Jumbo Jet, 7th generation jet fighter. Me, I call it the flying tuk tuk of doom. Oh, sh Let's begin with the headline feature the engines. Oh, don't clap yet. This machine doesn't have one, and not even two. It has three engines. Because if your jet can't fly, at least let it confuse people with mathematics. The first engine is an old motorbike engine, probably bought off a motorbike rider who thought it was going off into retirement only for it to find itself enslaved in a death wish experiment. <laughs> this engine is supposed to move the plane on the ground and somehow help it take off. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> take off to where? On a runway that he doesn't own or doesn't exist? In an airport no sane air traffic controller will ever let him near? If he ever tried to roll this thing or this contraption onto Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Kenya, I swear security will mistake it for a lost scrap cut and throw it away. Holy Jesus! What is that? Because who would allow this <laughs> on a runway? Engine 2 and 3 is where now imagination went fully rogue. These are the thrust engines. Sounds terrifying until you realize the thrust is equal to my grandma's hand fan. <laughs> they exist purely for decoration. Think of them like that one uncle who always shows up to a family meeting in a suit but never contributes a cent to the fundraiser. Now let's talk about the design. Inspired by fighter jets, yep. But winning any beauty awards? Absolutely not. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is... Yes, your name. What the fuck? Wait a minute. Who are you? He slapped spikes on the nose. I don't know if he was planning to just cross in mid-air or watched too many episodes of Mad Max. And to make it even more intimidating, he glued a dummy missile, a fake missile, straight out of a child's toy set. Nothing screams I'm serious about aviation like PVC pipes pretending to be weapons of war. And the stability tests? Watching him climb onto this so-called jet is like watching a 120 kilogram uncle trying to sit on a plastic stool from the market. <laughs> the 
the entire aircraft shakes violently, like it's whispering its last words. Please release me from this suffering. But wait, there's more. Seven seats. Yep, you had me. Seven seats. He says this machine can carry himself plus six more passengers. And the pickup, the driver, and the motorcycle, which, which was carrying two billion passengers. Kuja apa? What? Na mimi si waiti moratina. Get out of here right now. <laughs> Who these passengers will be, I don't know. And where they will sit is also not visible. I'm judging by what is used to see on Kenyan roads, you know, where passengers are overcrowded in public vehicles. I guess he's thinking of doing the same to his plane and his passengers, who I don't know where, where they will be coming from. <laughs> Imagine him shouting, Welcome aboard Jumbo Airlines. Destination, Mount Kenya. While people are strapped in, praying for the nearest exit parachute that doesn't even exist. What would you do if you found out that you have a spinal cord? If I find that I have a spinal cord, mm. I have to go and visit the, the doctor and they remove it. And they? They remove it. <laughs> Why? And it is a disease, it may, it may cause me a problem. Mm. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. When it moves, the wheels tremble like a goat coughing in rain. Gary! <laughs> Gary! The axle looks like they were stolen from a wheelbarrow. The tires? Straight from a tuk tuk. Forget landing, if this thing ever touched an actual runway, aviation officials would faint on sight. And then the cherry on top. The back probably displays a stay back sign. What do you mean by that? Not a registration plate, not clearance markings, just a lorry style warning like it's holding sugar cane on a ruler road. <laughs> stay back indeed. Not because of speed, but because you may never know which part of it might fall off mid-roll. <laughs> now, let's pause. Because while the jet looks like a meme stretched over four tuk-tuk wheels, this young man behind it deserves a standing ovulation. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Ibo State. Yes, sir. Are you a school of this student? <laughs> the young man behind it deserves a standing ovation. He spent a whole year building this contraption. That's 12 months of hammering, welding, borrowing spare parts, and risking tetanus. And in a world where most of us are stuck scrolling TikTok the whole day or complaining about life, he actually did something. Sure, if something looks like a rejected prop from an Hollywood sci-fi movie or a CJ scene from a Ugandan movie. Drop the bomb, man. Sure, if it ever flew, Buzz would probably sue him for reckless airspace endangerment. But it's still something. So, what do we really have here? It's not just a jet, not a plane. What you have? is a rolling meme on tuk-tuk tires. A museum exhibit titled, What Not To Do With Spare Parts. Will it ever fly? Absolutely not, unless it's strapped under a cargo plane. He looked at a motorbike engine and thought, I'm going to touch the heavens with this. I guess the heavens laughed, the birds ducked, the wheels shook, but still, bravo, Captain Jumbo, Kenya's very first 7th generation comedy jet.
Tuvita kaita mugrali. Wow.